All right, welcome back to Crappy Design. I am about to crappily design this introduction by going way off topic and saying that uh, if you happen to be watching this right when it goes up, I am currently at the dealership with the new vehicle. And even though that's completely off topic, just saying it, it kind of makes it more real to me on this day before at this moment. And it's kind of exciting, so don't mind me. There'll be a video about it in the next couple days or so, so stay tuned. Anyway, let's get on with uh, the topic at hand, which is crappy design. The guys running the official Google UK Facebook page need to Google what a Venn diagram is. Okay, with T minus 10 minutes until the Exo Mars blasts off, some important things to note. Was there recently a, a launch of something to Mars? Did I completely miss that? Oh man. Wow, now I feel out of the loop. Things to know about Mars. There's water. Summer is twice as long. You'll only have seven friends. All of them are robots. At some point, you'll have to save Matt Damon. What, how do any of these things overlap? And why do they overlap with the sunsets are blue and saving Matt Damon? This isn't, I feel like usually the crappy design posts, they're at least humorous. This is just, it doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> Unless they weren't trying to make it a Venn diagram and it was just a logo that happens to look like, I'm just, it's just, it's just not good. And confused, okay. The combination of all three of these things leads to it's not made of chocolate. Damn, dude. I always thought, looking at images of Mars, that it was 100% chocolate. Now I feel like I've been deceived. All right, skipping that one because I'm not sure if it's a butt or not. I don't think it's a butt, but maybe Google has some automatic visual recognition software that will actually think it's a butt and demonetized. So, on to the next one. This ad for dental care that fails to show the teeth in the before picture. <laughs> Before, he had no teeth, an Invisalign put teeth into his mouth. Those are all act those are actually dentures, and they were perfect when they were created in the factory and inserted into his mouth, but also Invisalign. You should get that if you actually have teeth to begin with. <laughs> how, do you, how do you mess that up so much? Invisalign must like license their name to individual dentists and then the, or the orthodontists are then obligated to make their own advertisements and then they're like, look at this success case. Oh, whoops. All right, we'll just go ahead with it anyway. Maybe nobody will notice because the after picture looks good. Yep, totally don't see it as well. Oh, Locum. The name of this company is Locum. We can't possibly imagine a way that this logo could be interpreted to spell anything other than Locum. Why would I? Yep. Boy, oh boy. No, I refuse to believe that anyone could make this logo and be like, yes, this is fine. I don't see any other possible interpretation. Not at all. This is great. Everyone's going to understand immediately what that a heart is all actually an O. Are hearts ever actually used as an O in design? It would have to be like extremely clear context, like love, you replace the O with a heart. Okay, people are gonna know what that is. This though, no. Not when the words on either side of the heart are words themselves. I think that's the problem, is it's gotta be a word that can't exist without design 101. I don't know if that's design 101, but it seems like it should be. This Chinese ad for a pepper mill. I do love to just sprinkle pepper on my plain bread, especially the stack of plain bread. I love bread sandwiches, and I love coating the top piece of bread of the bread sandwich with pepper, rather than putting pepper inside of my bread sandwich like a normal sandwich. But I'm not a normal person because I actually eat bread sandwiches, which are bread with bread in between the bread. It's very, very good. Uh, no protein, just carbs. Very hearty meal. It's actually kind of like the, oh god, I, my favorite thing, my favorite thing in the world. One of my favorite things in the world, because I'm sure I've said something else that's my favorite thing in the world, and I don't want to create confusion here. Peanut butter cookie, peanut butter frosting, peanut butter cookie. So it is frosting in the middle, but still it's peanut butter frosting, and it's, oh my god. It's pretty much like a bread cookie, bread sandwich with a lot of sugar. May I'll add pepper onto it. I didn't know these were called pepper mills. Pepper mill sounds like an industrial tool. That was just like a pepper shaker. Fancy pepper grinder shaker thing. Comparing the cost to weight ratio has never been easier. Cost to weight ratio. Uh, oh, 0.48 per ounce, 10 cents a gram, 9.74 per pound. Oh, thanks guys. Really appreciate you breaking this down for me so I know what the best value is. This is this is actually kind of a true to life scenario for me though. Well, not exactly, because the problem is if I get protein powders, they make me poop a lot and not good consistency. Um, for some reason, when I do the pre-mixed protein drinks, 
I, I don't have issues with digestion, but when I do the powders, I follow the instructions. I even go lighter than uh, the recommendation sometimes on the dosage. and It's just not good for my bowels. So, anywho, but at the same time, you know, if you go IsoPure, I'm not sponsored by them. Although, IsoPure, if you're watching this, you want to sponsor me, please hook it up. It's great because it's no additional calories from anything else, just calories from protein. It's pretty nice. And so, you know, you, get, you can't get that from the premixed. Even the isopure premixed. I know you don't care about anything that I just said, but it is my interests, okay? I'm sharing my interests with you. This hairdryer melts its own casing. That is really, truly badly designed, isn't it, huh? All right, you didn't test that one before you sent it out there into the world. <laughs> Unless maybe there's an issue with this particular one, there's something causing it to get hotter than it is supposed to, but yeah. I wonder if you would think that your hair is actually burning until you see that. You're like, oh god, is my hair on fire? No, it's just smell of burning plastic. Really good to breathe in. I advise it. If you ever smell burning plastic, find the source and just start inhaling as deeply as possible. It really, um, it just it revitalizes the, the lungs. Don't actually do that, please. Parents, I don't want your parents to be mad at me. So don't do that. Uh, I pass this billboard every day, and every day I think he's a vampire. <laughs> oh boy. So, oh, Ro Robert Greenberg, sales representative. That's actually, uh, I, I know that name, and it's not, that's not the one that I know, but that's like the founder of Skechers Shoe Company. You're like, why do you know that? And I know that because my dad used to work for uh, Skechers. So that's, that's why I know that. But I guess there are multiple Robert Greenbergs out there in the world. Maybe he's a sales representative for Skechers Shoes. Robert Greenberg, the vampire. He will save you lots of blood, sweat, and tears when you're trying to buy whatever it is that he is selling. It's not very descriptive. I feel like you should add a little bit more information. What is it that you're selling? I don't know what you're selling. These aren't stairs. They're decorative waterfalls. My friend walked onto them and slipped. <laughs> yeah, that looks like that's so bad. Do you not think people are going to just figure that those are stairs instead of going up the ramp? Like, hey, I don't want to obstruct the ramp just in case someone in a wheelchair or something has to go down it, and then I'm the asshole who's in the way. Like, occasionally when the only available stall in a bathroom is the, the handicap accessible one, I'm like so torn as to whether I should wait or should I go in, because it's never happened to me yet where I've walked out of the handicapped one only to be faced with someone in a wheelchair who's been waiting for it. It's never happened yet, but I do really, really dread the day where that does happen, and I feel like the world's biggest asshole. Has that ever happened to you? Have you ever gone into the handicapped accessible stall, and then you walk out, and it's just like, oh, shit, I'm sorry about that. That was kind of selfish of me. Um, right, anywho, uh, I'm going to go now. Has that ever happened to you? Anyway, um, that just... God, that's so dumb. <laughs> Looks like a lot of people have uh, tried to walk on those too and kind of rub the paint off or something. Whoops. Facebook's poll system won't show me the options in favor of showing me who voted for what. Vote for your choice. Uh, oh, okay. Well, I guess it's between the uh, final three because I don't know what the first ones are at all. Guess I can kind of infer that it's April something, April 7th, but I don't know the time. Or these ones. That's helpful. Never done a... I actually... I've completely given up on Facebook. It's it's a new thing. Well, not really new. I think I kind of decided like a month ago, probably. I just haven't said it. I just... I gave up. Facebook does not... If you put out a post on your page, it just doesn't share it with anyone who likes your page anymore. It's just like, nah. We're gonna... You're gonna have to pay if you want this post to go out to the people who've liked your page. Would you like to promote your post to the people who have already said that they would be interested in seeing it? I'm like, no. I don't, I don't want to do that. I'm good. I'm gonna just not bother. Okay. Sorry if anyone from Facebook is watching this, but um, happy to chat. I am. But anywho, thought the peep was farting. My wife corrected me. It's cotton candy. <laughs> it really does look like that. Kind of looks like some kind of, it's like an anime anger puff. You know, when they have the crossed veins and a little puff comes out of it. That's also sort of what it looks like, except it's coming out of the butt. So, yeah, I think it would have taken me a second to realize 
That's actually pretty low calorie. That's not bad at all. 28 calories per chick. And it's only, man, it's like 280 calories. You get 10 of these in a package. Really? And it's only 280 calories? Damn, that's kind of a steal. That's kind of a steal. It really is. Also, how do you package 10? That means it's asymmetrical, isn't it? Like there's three up here and two down there, which is weird packaging. Anyway, I'm getting hung up on things that don't matter, but that's not bad. Turn me on yourself. Open the battery lid. Uh, well, you want to open the battery lid? Oh, you you pull out what looks like prolapsing, which really brings back terrible memories of my poor lizard when I was a kid. That I was like, Mom, I think there's something wrong. There's like organ looking tube kind of hanging out back there, and she's like, Ah, oh, it's probably just poop. And I was like, I don't think it's poop. Like it's poop, and then he died. So, anyway, yeah. Insert the batteries, and then turn me on. Woo, buddy. Looks like some sweat's coming down right there. <laughs> no has bow me ever. Are we on English? I'm not saying I'm Wonder Woman. I'm just saying no has bow me ever. D and seen Wonder Woman. <laughs> The same room together. Hold on, what? No, I'm just saying, I like. I thought maybe I was reading it correctly and it was gonna go through and it was just people were, no. Okay, I'm not saying Wonder Woman. I'm just saying nobody has ever seen me and Wonder Woman in the same room together. How are you just gonna go and completely switch the order in which you're supposed to read the text why would I, why would, it's just, it's fine. Okay, we're going good. And then it's like, you go one, one, one. It goes one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, 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 three, 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 two, two. But why though? Oh my God. I don't, okay. All right. Well, anyway, uh, just know. Cruise the net faster with two wheels. <laughs> How does that work? <laughs> I don't know how much faster it's gonna be when you're going up on one wheel and down on the other. You're doing like a running motion. You're going nowhere. It's basically a, a hamster on a wheel. It's like a treadmill. You can run as fast as you can with your two fingers, but you're not gonna go anywhere. Oh, actually, it depends, because one would have to be only going down one way. I guess if you do run like that and you're only going down, then it would. But I don't think that's ever been a problem for people. <laughs> Damn, I can't scroll fast enough. I better get a mouse with two wheels. Hey. You know what, if those can be pressed down, then it gives you an extra button. Also, what does the middle button do? Is that instead of being able to push down on the scroll wheel, that's your middle mouse button? Or is it you have five buttons across the top for, like your thumb goes on the right click, or the left click, your index finger goes on the first scroll wheel, your middle finger goes on the middle mouse, etc., etc. Very interesting, very interesting. My friend found this. Think outside the box. Everything about this is wrong. You can't just put stuff outside of the tic-tac-toe board and then say one, that's not how it works. But yeah, if you're going by those rules, then there's two winners here. I don't know if you can accurately say that the dude already won because you don't know which was written first. In all likelihood, the game would have been played and then the title would have been written on it because you wouldn't say think outside the box and then play the game. Or was this written and then some, I don't know. I don't know, but everything's wrong. You can't do that. You can't just you can't just change the rules of an age old game to suit your liking, okay? No, you can't do that. I'm sure there's some joke to be made somewhere in there. Love to Shutterstock see this kind of stuff. Huh? Make Shutterstock everything better. You put a, did you put an, a miss? spelled or a poorly designed stock image up on your wall oh no no you you didn't you didn't pay for a subscription and you just grabbed the image from google and um yeah you just you put <laughs> whoops it's not so much crappy design as oops didn't realize that was a watermark. Our bad. That's like, uh, what, what was it called? Uh, what are they called? Shoot, I'm trying to think. Uh, paper towns, I think. Something like that. Where companies that create 
maps, I don't know if they still do it, but it's the thing that existed at one point at the very least, they would put a fake town, a fake city uh, somewhere on their map. And then when other companies after them would come out with like maps, they would check them. And because the towns were fake, if the same city appeared in another company's map, it was obvious that they had just taken company A's map and copied it. And so it's like, it's like the same thing here, although a little bit more obvious because it's just you included the watermark, you idiot. How did you even, like, it's not even high res when you're on the sample image on Google Images. How did you even get it to look not terrible on the wall? Whatever, can't get the soda. Great design, would pay money for again. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God, it really straight up exploded. How sharp is that? Jesus Christ, how are you? How have you not sliced your hand open? If it's freaking sharp enough to cut the can open? Jesus, dude, that, oh my God. Did you not reach your hand in there and just experience like a puddle of liquid or it was like the stickiest cavern that you've ever stuck your hand in? Because you can't be the only person who's ever had that happen to you. Is there just a graveyard of soda cans? Yours was the first that exploded or like, wow. How you had one job, vending machine company. Make it so you can retrieve the th the product, and you can't even do that. It's maybe it's just all a a, a ploy. Keep, they keep restocking the cans once they fall, and the people can't retrieve them. They don't get their money back, so you just keep profiting off the same item. Perfect. Sliding door company, not using sliding doors. How can I trust you and your sliding door products if you don't even use them on the front entrance of your own company? Not really crappy design, more just. <laughs> Kind of funny. <laughs> Probably the building code would not allow them to do that. I have to imagine that there are greater forces at play here, but still, I guess you would imagine that if that is what you make, you would put yourself into a building that allows sliding doors at the entryway. I don't know. And they can showcase their top of the line super sliding door product and people would be really impressed before they even start talking to a rep inside. When Channel 5 doesn't have a picture for a show on its demand service, it uses Bob the Builder pictures for hilarious results. What? Whoa! What? A, what? What? 9-11? Yes. I just don't even want to read these things because my Google is going to caption them and be like, mm -mm, this isn't safe. I'm gonna cover the the text too with my hand so that Google can't see it and demonetize me who wait What <laughs> why do you auto generate with a Bob the Builder thumbnail? Can you imagine if YouTube did that every video that doesn't have a custom thumbnail put on instead gets a Bob the Builder thumbnail <laughs> My entire second channel Captain Sparkles 2 would all be Bob the Builder thumbnails could be kind of great actually Maybe that's what I should do from now on Bob the Builder would probably come after Hey, Bob the Builder, you want to give me a license to all your photos and just all you always use them as thumbnails? And uh, that'll become... <laughs> I should do that for live streams. Because I, I, when I do the YouTube live streams, it wants you to put a thumbnail on the, on the thing. And I'm always like, all right, Fortnite stock image, here we go. Should start doing Bob the Builder. <laughs> no one will understand, except those of you who watch this video, you'll be in on the joke. Wow, that's great. Okay, well that was it for the last month of crappy design. I hope you've enjoyed. Make sure to like if you like. Check out the playlist in the description if you want to catch up on more. Subscribe if you're not already. And if you want to listen to the music playing in the background, link is in the outro over on Mirror Music. I'll see you next time.